Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a patient who's 79 years old. She's had headaches for about 18 months, comes in for an MRI, and her brain looks pretty good, just some mild changes associated with aging. But she did have another incidental finding here, and that is related to her skull. So this is her skull or calvarium. This is the back of the skull here, the occipital region. This is the occipital lobe of the brain, and the calvarium or skull goes over the top here. It has a dark band here along the back. This is called the outer table, the dense compact bone. And then there's another dark band, the inner table here. And in between there's a bright area, and that is fatty marrow. That's a medullary cavity of the bone. Over the top this bright line is just a normal subcutaneous fat beneath the scalp here. So again, this is the bone outlined by the dark band, um, superficially and the other dark band deep. And as we go over the top, things are good, good, good. But in the front here we see a bubbly area here. We can see that the inner table of the skull here is a nice black line, and over here it bubbles out, touches the brain underneath it. Really thick in the front. So this is a very common thing. It's usually in older females, and you can see it here, lobulated thickening of the medullary cavity comes off the inner table of the skull, and we call it hyperostosis frontalis interna. Usually it's just in the frontal lobes, usually in older females, and it's just an incidental finding. And we mention it just to uh, let people know that it is nothing worrisome. If you see it, you may say, oh my gosh, what is this thickening? But it's just a normal finding, incidental in older females typically. On this view over here, this is an axial image. We're looking at from a different angle. This is the front. Here's the back. Here's the right side, left side. And we can see here this bubbly inner table of skull thickening here in the front called hyperostosis frontalis interna.